I'm making this video because there's not a lot on the internet about cleaning these things when they're not charging. And nobody would think to clean them, you would just think they're bad or your charger's bad. Well, I just pulled off, this is the fourth one that I went through and I'm cleaning all my prongs. I actually have five chargers, a bunch of batteries. So what you do is you can put some rubbing alcohol on here, make sure it's not plugged in when you do it. And just clean all your prongs. You see how dirty those are, you just don't think about it. Don't think about having to clean the prongs if they're not getting contact. So if your battery, you know your battery's good, but it's not charging, so what do you do? Okay, so now this one is easy to access, but the battery itself is pretty tough to access. You got a bunch of little slits right here. So what I came up with was taking a piece of sandpaper right here, and it's just a fine grit, nothing crazy. I pulled it out of the garage, nothing special. I folded it once, and then I fold it again, and then I made this very stiff. See what I did right battery here? Battery wasn't charging. It would tell it like it's a full charge when I know the indicator says it's not, um, and I knew nothing was wrong with it, and I don't leave them in the garage or anything. That's another tip for you guys. Don't put them in extreme cold temperature. It's not good for change, but anyways, I folded this up like that, and I stiffened it with my finger, and I got one hand. I'm trying to show you guys, and I shoved this down in, Oh, I guess that's not going to go unless I hold it in place. All right, so I shoved this down and I know it went between the prongs. This one's not going, not with two hands, I can't do it. All right, let me try this other battery here, which I know is completely dirty. There you go. See how that slid in there? And I'm just sanding. I'm to show you guys how dirty these can get. And I just sprayed rubbing alcohol. I put this in one time, but look at this. I'm probably going to pull off a bunch of black gunk. You see that black stuff coming off there? That's all making it not get contact. And I got one hand and I'm doing this. If I had two hands, I could just go back and forth and you guys could see what's going on. So you see what I'm talking about? That little black resin, I don't know what the heck ends up on it. Junk, dirt, stuff like that. So that's it, you gotta clean all that out. You'll get contact. I put the flashlight on for you. You could see that it's dirty right there. So now this battery I got, these are all my batteries that weren't getting any contact at all and it was just acting crazy. That's because one of them wasn't getting the charge. Let's see what happens now. This charger right here, the one I just cleaned. Okay, hold it in my foot. And let's see, we want a flashing light. Oh, I didn't show it down in deep enough. There you go. We want it to keep flashing. That indicates that it's charging. What it was doing earlier was, I think this one was giving a solid red light saying the pack was fully charged and I knew it wasn't. Um, and then what else is there? Okay, so just do that, clean them up. Just making the video so you guys know there is other ways to clean them. Some of them I was taking an envelope, this is what I was doing at first, and putting rubbing alcohol on it. And then I would shove it in there back and forth and you could see how dirty it got. And once every three months I gotta do this, where I know my batteries aren't crap, I know they're not junk. They're less than probably a year, maybe two years old. So they didn't take a crap. I know they're just dirty because this the 60 volt does come with a little red cover, but who's really going to use that? You know, come on, guys. It's uh, you're not going to put a cover on your battery every time. So it's just lots of time. So nobody does. So if you're not getting contact, clean these little prongs right here in between here. They're probably just dirty and dusty, not getting contact. Also, take into consideration that you need to clean these prongs. You could probably take some sandpaper and sand them if they're really rusted. But these look pretty good. It's just my batteries. And uh, if this video helped you out, give me a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.